Hey guys, welcome back to another coding interview question. If you're new here, my name is Michael. I'm a computer science student and I solve coding interview questions. So today's question is very interesting because I recently just had it in a mock coding interview. And by recently, I mean literally a few hours ago and I just wanted to do it. So this question is, asking you to find duplicates in an array. Although the question that I was asked is a slight variant of this question, it's asking you to find duplicates in two arrays, but it's almost the same logic with this one. So I'm just gonna dive into the code, all right? So how do we do this? So we wanna do this in O of N runtime, which means we have to check two elements at the same time in the same array. Uh, we could check one element and like do a binary search and check for the other elements, and that's gonna run in O of n log n time because of the binary search. Or what we could do is we could do it in a while loop and we could sort the array. So we know that when we sort the array, all the elements that have the same value, all the duplicates are gonna be right next to each other. So with a simple like i plus one for like indexes, we should get duplicates. So the very first thing we wanna do is we wanna say arrays the sort and what array do we want to sort we want to sort the nums array but before that let's import a library okay so after we sort the array we declare an array list that we're going to store our answers at and that's going to be an array list of integer and let's call this answer is equal to new array list. Close this. All right. So now we iterate through the array in a while loop. So we declare uh, a left variable. We call this integer left is equal to zero, and we say while left is less than nums.length minus one. So why are we doing nums.length minus one? So I think I've explained this like a lot of times in my other videos, but if you're new here, it's good that I explain it again. So we're gonna have, we're gonna check two numbers, right? And the next number is gonna be one plus the index. It's gonna be one more than the index, right? So if we do less than nums.length and we check a number, that is left plus one, while well, this is less than nums that length, we're gonna go out of bounds of the array. And we don't want that. So we want the second number that we're gonna check, our second pointer, should always have the luxury of being within bounds. So why am I doing this, right? So let's say we say if nums of left, right? is equal to nums of left plus one, right? Then we add it to the array list, to the answer array list. So if this was nums.length, right? And we're at the very last iteration, and this is the very last element in the array, and we do a left plus one, we're gonna go out of bounds, and we don't want that. So we always wanna keep one index for the next check that we're gonna do. So if nums of left is equal to nums of left plus one, then we add it to the answer array, and that's answer that add nums of left, right? Then we increment the left, means we want to check the other elements. And else, if nums of left is not equal to nums of left plus one, then we still want to check the other numbers. So we do left plus plus. So I'm going to run this code. It's very elegant, by the way. So I need to return answer right here after everything. And this should do it. Great, submit. Cool. So it ran in. Uh, 
faster than 27.66% of all online Java submissions. And, but we're doing very good uh, with, with space though. We're not doing great with time, but we're doing very good with space. So if you're going to optimize for time, it involves using something like a hash map and you put the values in the hash map and you check if there's a duplicate value in the hash map and that check is going to be done in constant time. So before you check for duplicate values in the hash map, you first need to put values in the hash map and that's going to take O of n time. And when you're checking for duplicates, that's going to take O of one time, that's constant time. But the not so good thing is you are storing a hash map of n elements and that's an extra layer of complexity on space. So you're not going to do very well with space. So this algorithm is going to run in O of n time since we're just iterating over the array once, and it's gonna run in O of D space, where D is the number of duplicates that we have, and we store it in this answer. So that's pretty much it for this question. I hope you got a thing or two from it. I hope you find this video informative, and if you like this type of content, please consider subscribing to the channel, like the videos, and post your comments down below. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.